Good morning YouTube, welcome to another video. Today is the Amnesia debut. It is currently 4.45 in the fucking morning and we're in Bristol. Last night we played in Swansea until 10 p.m. instead of going home to Manchester, which was four and a half hours away from Swansea. We decided to come to Bristol and get the first flight out so we could soak up the Balearic sunshine uh, in anticipation for my first ever amnesia show, which, which for me could be the best I've ever done. Hard to say, hard to say. And I've got a new gadget for the vlogs, so handheld right now. Uh, but the plan for today is to fly to Ibiza, hopefully get some sleep on the plane, and yeah, sunbathe, chill and just get ready for tonight. So guys, just like that, in Ibiza, currently about to eat a smoked salmon poached eggs on toast, like usual. It is around 11 a.m., flight was pretty chilled, got spotted by a few people, um, a few that will come to Amnesia tonight, managed to get a little 30 minute nap, so feeling pretty good. Gonna slam this coffee as well, and then go and soak it up, can't check in the room till like 3 p.m., so pretty standard procedure. Look at the current view. I'm gonna flip you around. Jake's got his usual sauce, bacon, a lot. He's already had cornflakes and yogurt. And yeah, we're just waiting for our other friend, Alex, who is coming from Manchester. His flight got delayed, I think like two hours in the end, so not ideal, but we're not gonna complain. I now know what it feels like to find an Ibiza the same day you're playing Amnesia. I can tell you now, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. So debut at Amnesia tonight. The Terrace is probably my favourite club room in the world, maybe. I believe the club's been open since like the 80s. Iconic, you know, Cocoon, Music On, all sorts of uh, parties there. I myself have had many crazy times on the dance floor. First came to Ibiza when I was 18. Uh, we stayed at Jet Apartments, me, Seb, Lewis and Adam. You'll know Seb, part of local dub. Um, so yeah, like literally a decade ago. We went to MusicCon during that period on Fridays, stayed there till daft o'clock, and then the following summer when I was 19, I did a month in Ibiza with my now business partners with Heinz Eek and you and me, Kurt, Dash, and Dan. So Ibiza was literally where you and me was born. When I did a month here, we'd go to MusicCon every Friday. We'd stay there until like 11 a.m. Corolla would just keep playing. The rules then for closing was completely different. So you know when people say like, oh, it's not like it used to be, I don't want to be that guy, but there was a period of time where it was different. And I don't think you can really compare now to then in terms of what's better, blah, blah, blah. It's just different now. It's completely different. The clubs have got a short of 6.30 and all these things. So we'd go there till 10, 11. We had a villa, we had decks set up, we'd do after parties that'd go on for like a day or two. And it was a pivotal part in my journey as an artist and also building relationships with who are now some of my closest friends and we're doing things which is going to basically shape the rest of our lives building festivals and, and parties and labels together so yeah following on from that first month in Ibiza I went again the next year for a month and then from there just did little trips uh, yearly I think my first gig in Ibiza came in 2018 I think so six years ago I think we did a party at the zoo project you and me we did this like room in the cave um, and then I think the following year, I think I may have had a booking at a place called Tantra. 
and a friend came with me called Alex and he's actually coming today, so that's the guy. So he came to my first ever Ibiza booking with me and now he's here for my first ever time on the terrace. So how cool is that? How cool is that? So yeah, like I now know what it feels like to land in Ibiza when you're the guy playing at a super club. Like something I always thought about when I've seen DJs before in airports, I'm like, how are they feeling right now? And it feels fucking good. I think this I think there's been a period of time where you kind of want to not look like you're buzzing about things. I think it's a British thing that, where you kind of want to play down achievements, play down um, accomplishments, but I'm really trying to soak in this moment and acknowledge the fact that it's fucking epic. Um, and the guys on the plane behind me uh, were talking to me because they recognised me and they were saying, um, they're like, fair fucking play, mate. It's fucking insane, that. So it is insane and it's going to be nerve-wracking, to say the least. In terms of preparation, Played in Swansea last night. I did a bit of a test run on some new tunes for myself. Uh, got some new bits sent to me. Then there's been a few tried and tested bombs from recent weeks that I'll play. Uh, but in general, I'm just going to go with the flow. Go with the flow. So we're going for some food around 10 p.m. I believe. England are also playing at 6 p.m. So like, this is just an amazing day. Um, obviously, my brother's behind the camera as well. And look at the look at the amazing views. So yeah, that's a bit of context to what Ibiza actually means to me. What what my journey's been like here. And tonight shall be hopefully the first of many appearances on the terrace the only terrace appearance of this year i'm playing paradise amnesia in about a month but that is the main room well not the main room the club room which should also be sick um, first cheers of the trip lads. cheers pal cheers pal Flip it round. So dudes, sat on the rooftop, all the tuna poke bowl. Can't complain. Sun is beaming down. We've opted for a table in the sun to cook them up a bit. The pool is actually rammed, so let me flip this round. You can probably see over there, kind of dead center, that there is a lot of people on Groupon offers that managed to sunbathe at the pool. So I'm not convinced all these people are at this hotel. But hey, um, maybe they are. So yeah, half one. Gonna soak it up. We need to get a nap. England run at six, so I'm not sure what the nap plan is. Probably just chill for a few more hours and decide. Um, and then the meal is at 10 p.m. We don't get the room till three. Yeah, we don't get the room till three, which is annoying as fuck. But to be honest, it's not really annoying because I won't be in there anyway now. I'm not actually tired yet, however. You can't run on fumes because tonight's important. But look at the view. <laughs> Belter. But it's all good, man. It's life, mate. It's life. Do you reckon, pal? Fucking load of shite there. Sadly, it's got the England going out and that's Paul Palmer saves the day. <laughs> oh, God, what a goal, man. England just won, um, off to Very dark, but. the artist meal, Howard's asleep, shock, could have predicted that, um, you know, like, probably fucking had enough drinks to send me to bed anyway, but he sent himself to bed, and he had like seven drinks or something, so we're going to the meal now, it's 9.30, 9.30, I slept for 10 minutes I think again, um, I think I'm just going to stop worrying about sleep so much, because when you're doing something so fun as this, like I'm always gonna get tired, I'm like, oh, I need to get some uh, nicotine somewhere. But yeah, he's he's not joined us. We're gonna have some food, a few drinks, but maybe have a nap after. But we'll see, I'm just gonna go with the flow. If I'm not tired, I'll stay up, but I think we will be tired. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this food's gonna be good. <laughs>
guys pyramid amnesia done the terrace debut is complete it was biblical to say the least um, one i'll never forget whole vibe was on point from arriving at the club hospitality sound maybe a bit too loud my ears are fucked and so are my man's just there <laughs> i really need to start wearing earplugs uh, i really really do I, I actually have a pair but it's just not the same but it won't be the same, we can't hear it all in the future. But yeah, today is the end of the quick 24 hour exhibition to Ibiza. Hide and Seek Festival is this weekend. I'm here again next week to play for Appetite. So maybe I'll come a day early or I'm not too sure. I feel like I need a holiday. I feel like I'm burning the candle at like 7,000 different ends at the moment. But yeah, look, look at the view. Look at that fucking view. You kind of wish I'll stay in, but duty calls. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next week. <laughs>